After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops have stole me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. People may think our job's boring, but we have so many people that come through with different stories. Some are pretty interesting. A lot of people come in and they're having a bad day or they're angry, and I've got to be able to adjust my mood to try to bring them down, and you just got to be very flexible. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm an escort. Just explains the outfit tonight. Yeah. Up on the wall? Hand on the wall? Yes, please. So what exactly do escorts do? I escort like celebrities and stuff. You have to work up to that. You have to like start at a certain level. My mom owns a car business, so she gave me her clientele list. That's nice of your mom. Yeah. Do you have to give her like a percentage? Ten percent. You do? I make five grand a night. Does that make your mom your pimp? Yeah. That's funny. Hey, do you know on, I just got out five hours ago? Did you really? Yeah. You were just here last night? Yeah. So what happened tonight? How'd you get caught tonight? Um, this limo tried to charge me $120 to go five miles, and I wouldn't pay him. Five miles? That's pretty expensive. Go to this row, all the way down to the very last chair. This row. Why are there no girls here? What was the story with this girl? Uh, I was dispatched to uh, relieve Swing shift, picked her up at Tropicana for defrauding a taxi cab. She refused to pay a bill, saying that she was driving around town for two hours. She said she's only in the cab for half an hour. Oh, it was two hours. Great, thank you. I'm in jail on a Tuesday. Party animal. I don't have any priors. You were here five hours ago. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking it's funny. You said no priors. You were five hours ago. You see my nails, yeah. by the way? I did yeah, notice your nice. nails. Probably. Who else? You know I have a cupcake tattooed on my ass? Oh, my Don't God. God. Wait, you got a cupcake tattooed on your butt? Yeah, that's my name, Cupcake. <laughs> nope, so why, why on your butt? What? So people can frost it? Is she done with medical? She, yeah. Are you done? OK, look it. You got an OR. OK. <laughs> Defrauding an innkeeper. You don't have to post bill. It's the fastest way out of here. You just promise to appear in court, OK? So fill out the highlighted areas, and you'll be out of here in about six hours. Six hours? I'm so hungry. Uh, well, you get breakfast here. It's not chicken nuggets. Can I pay you guys to get out of here quicker? Mm. Do I look like a John to you? <laughs> have a seat on that back row, Cupcake. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Threatening me. You should probably get off that crack. Find me somebody else to talk to. I don't want to talk to no crackhead. Just shut the f up talking to me, bitch. Please. <laughs> stupid hoe. Next time you call me a stupid hoe, you better watch out. Stupid hoe. She called me a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. <laughs> I'm not on crack. I heard it from over there, but you do know you can lose your OR based on your behavior in her, okay? Okay, no more talking smack, no more getting out of your seat. Just follow the rules, okay? How many more hours do I have left? I really want chicken You haven't even been here for one. So, like I said, it'll probably take about six hours with your OR, okay? Come on, man, run it, I know, he just came in. He's been like that since he walked in. If he stays as loud as he is, he's going to end up getting removed. Let's go get screamed by medical. got to get a big hug and a kiss, too good looking. How's he first drop? Oh, ooh, is he first? Oh, no. I got to sit down to hug and kiss now. Huh? I just can't stand drop? up. Hitchhack. Oh, he scares me. Get off the oh track. <laughs> Take the back seat. Good looking. No, it's just a little bit too disrespectful to me. Here, so. stand up for me, bud. To the side show. I was just giving you. I was just <laughs> trying to make a joke. Dude, I'm sorry. Yeah. So when you went to call him up, he just immediately started making the obscene yeah, gestures so and obscene. comments. He wanted, to call, he wanted to kiss and hug, and um, I can put up there. He's been here many times before, so I know who he is. 
This gentleman's come in intoxicated, being belligerent. Uh, he's out there actually making sexual advances towards our medical staff. So we need to get him out of the area before he sets anybody else off. Who's trying? Yeah. Go down to your knee, buddy. Don't move until the door shuts. You need to go sit down and sober up a little bit, ma'am. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. Chrissy! What? What's going on with you today? Are you on anything? No, I'm high on life. Yeah? I think I'm a big stud. I'm just such a stud that nothing can get in my way. Not even a cell door. I'm Superman! <laughs> Just joking her. No, I, I just want to have a normal not. conversation with you. Can I you have a normal conversation? Huh? Remember how disrespectful you were being? You make every female in here upset with you. You weren't being very nice. No, I wasn't. I said, hi, honey. How you doing? I, I, I treat women like, you know, like, uh, really good because I hear they're delicate. Have you been drinking today? Six out of beer. Good milking. Oh. Huggy, smuggy, kissy, wissy. I was drinking hard alcohol or anything. Chris, go ahead and have a seat for me. You know, I was drinking a uh, freaking uh, tequila sunrises or... Let's get one thing straight. Oh, okay. I don't want to go to that next level. We have rules and regulations and the way you speak to people and you don't talk to them in that uh, frame of mind. And that I wasn't trying to try pick up on it. I was just trying to cheer him up a little bit and just make him realize. Well, when you try to realize this, how you doing? When you come in here, well, I want you to be respectful, OK? You came out way too strong to her. Okay. Sorry. I, I like to be really respectful. Okay. Shh, quiet time. Quiet time. Uh, you want, let's you want, you want to go ask Christina if, if you want to do it again and try it again? We can do that. OK. Just stay here, relax. We'll bring you out shortly, OK? It seems a lot better than when we first came in. That's all. Nice and calm. That's how we like it. That's good. Yeah. All right, Petra, come here. You're going to sit right here for the money you have? Here and here for your property. There's your one charge. OK. Misdemeanor, you're going to be out on an OR, so you won't be in here for very much longer, OK? Grab your paperwork. Let's go. Into the next room. Have a seat in the first row. If you need something, you raise your hand and ask the officers first. She was funny, but after a while, it was very hard to believe any of her stories. And she got to the point where she was definitely going to lose her OR, and she'll be back again, and she'll give us more stories, so. Las Vegas is 24 hours. It's an adult playground. People come here on vacations. A lot of people come into jail, and they're actually quite surprised that they got arrested. They think prostitution is legal here. They see these girls walking around. They're caught up, and boom, they get to put a trip to the county jail in their tourist book of things they did in Vegas. Did you, did you right? you? I'm an alcoholic. Are you an alcoholic? Yes, I drink a gallon of gin a day. What else do you do? Just no, you don't do any tweak at all? No. No? Have you ever? Yes. Yeah? When did you stop? Um, probably maybe five years ago. Spread your feet for me. Since I have no underwear on, I could get a pair of pants, please. So you're wearing nothing under the dress? Yes, ma'am. All right, Gina, step over here with me. Sure. I want you to walk all the way down, sit in the last chair, or if medical calls you up first. All right, how'd you come in contact with her? Oh, uh, we received a call from a security guard, female knocking on different doors in an apartment complex. He stopped her to trespass her um, and called us to come facilitate the tra uh, trespass. Okay. She ended up having some warrants, so we brought her down on her warrants. What was she doing knocking on all the doors, did she ever say? She was out turning tricks, according to her. Is the word she used is tricks. All right, well, thank you. Do you think if I chance, since I have no underwear on, I could get a pair of pants, please? Right. How come you don't have any on? There's some fish that nylons in there, too, Is in there? case I got to change for later. So, we should, oh, so maybe we, there was a possibility that we were going to be working tonight? There you go. There's always a possibility you're going to be working. OK, when an opportunity rolls your way, we just go with it. You got to be prepared. The condoms, the high heels, the fishnets, you got to be prepared. So how many clients would you work with in a night? Yeah. Maybe three, so you figure you're pulling in 300 bucks, 400 bucks a night. Do you work every day? No. So do you bring them to your home? Or no. No, no, no. Get like a little, to your home. a little weekly or something? No, I have a fifth wheel. 
of this wheel. Oh, oh, so it's a mobile. It's a mobile motel. Pose on wheels. Pose on wheels. <laughs> I mean, you should get your own website. Right? I think we're ready to get processed. I'd have like a glamour shot or something. You look great. Hold your head straight, though. You don't want a crooked mug shot. There you go. OK. Perfect. You did great. So how much do you drink a day? A gallon of Seagram's gin a day. No, you do not. Yes, and I keep my bottle in my hand at all times because it's my weapon of choice. No. It cracks in my hand with it. It never breaks. Let me ask you something. Are you drinking the gin because you enjoy it, or are you an al do you have a problem? I'm yeah. an alcoholic. Are you? I'm an alcoholic. Okay. What happens? How soon after you, that last drink wears off do you start having problems? Depends on how quick you wake up. OK. OK. I want you to put these on. Awesome. Step back over here. Thank you. I'm going to close. Really wear these? Well, you're not wearing any underwear, so I brought them for you. No G-strings included? These are no, like... we don't have. We have granny panties. It's a good look for you. I love the color blue. Well, I probably... OK. Okay. Yeah. Not I got plenty of booty to fit in. OK, you got plenty of booty to fill them in. Yeah. OK. I, I was downstairs in here. My okay. back, my back hurts, too. Right, you're going to come. It must be laying on my back all day that makes it hurt. OK. Back around and have a seat in that chair until we're ready to have you sign for your property. Do you ever give a fake name, or do you always truthful? I've never given a fake name. I don't, use, I don't even use a fake name when I'm out there. That just opens up a um, whole can of worms. I figure if you're using a fake name out there with a client, then what are you doing, robbing them? Why can't you be who you are? Oh, you're still providing a service. You're just doing it with a different name. My name's Miss Gina. I'm OK with it. I'm all Miss right. Miss Gina. Miss Gina. Here's a copy of your charges. Same old station thing, one to the next, right? When they call your name, stand up, go visit them. When you need to get up for something, you raise your hand. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is my pay charges, right? It is. Keep okay. that with you. This I'm not, they're not, they're not going to award me, right? No, not on a failure to appear warrant, no. I don't think so. You'll see the judge in a couple of days. And, oh, I'm sweating it, yeah. I'll go to sleep, you all right? your money, yeah. Yeah. yeah get so a can nap. I get a drink before I sit down? Yes, you may. Thank you. OK. Good luck. Thanks. All right, so Gina's pretty prepared. She already had her phone numbers of people she needed to talk to to um, put money on her books. No, you need to have a seat first. The phone system's different, Gina. You're going to have to register. OK. So well, good luck to her, I guess. County Detention Center. We actually rotate positions and posts so that we become really familiar with the areas that we're working. So you're familiar enough that if somebody needs help in another area, you're able to go to that situation and give them the help that they may need immediately. Will you tell me? No. We can't sign for your money if, if you don't tell us where it's at. He just passed it. <laughs> he found it. You know what? Screw you. Wow, ma'am, you're being so I'm being a bitch. I'm being a bitch. Why? Because I'm old and I don't need to be here. You don't want to be here? Because no. it's gross? Yes. It's OK. It's not going to be I called gonna... for help, and this is where I am. Well, how did your car just like I don't know. I don't, know. I I don't, don't know. It's a shift, I, and I rolled into a Mercedes. Have you ever had an accident before? No. you got to go get your blood uh, drawn. OK? Oh, that's hard. My veins roll. Oh, well, they're really, really good at what they do. Come here. This way. She's admitted to having two glasses of wine. You did a Mercedes? I rolled in the Mercedes. I called you guys for help. And here I am. Two glasses of wine. Don't move. You're really good. So Thank why you. do you? Why you? We got to get one more. Just relax. I'm not having a problem. You having a problem? No, I'm not. Duh. I'm sober. I'm the soberest person you've ever arrested. I bet I'm more sober. What? I got a mouth. No, man. Don't say that. I'm 72. Right. I can say you're, anything I want. You're old enough to do that. You're right. You're damn right, I am. I am damn right on that. You're damn right. I'm probably one of the nicest people you've ever arrested. You're close. What do you think? Yeah? Am I really? Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, but we're all done. Yeah, but that hurts. Well, it's going to happen. It's a needle in your skin. Kind of a pistol. We're going to keep you around in for entertainment. Dreams. You're fine. And you have to take two. Because <laughs> you had two glasses. We'll go out and have a drink sometime. What are all those girls out there? Are they prostitutes? Some. Some? Mm hmm Can I figure out which ones? No. <laughs> Let's not play that Waldo game when we go out there. Where's Waldo again? Right over here, look. Okay. She's got the seat waiting for oh you. My God. Last row with the other females all the way at the end. Have a seat. What happened? She called you guys? 
She uh, was picking up her car at the valet at the Palms after, I don't know what she said, she had something to eat and some wine. And she rolled into the car in front of her. Mm -hmm. And the car in front of her was a Mercedes convertible. Oh, geez. So she called the police to get a police report come. Right. Uh, there wasn't very much damage to the Mercedes, but mm -hmm. well, that's if she'd have got out on the street, it could have been a lot worse. So. Absolutely, yeah. All right, thank you. Sir. Sure. It was funny when she first sat down, she was asking all the girls, you're all so young, how old are you, how old are you, how old are you? Well, she wants to know if they're all prostitutes. And she says she's going to spend her time in here figuring out who is and who isn't. And you what, you stood on the corner and he came up to you, is that how No, I was... Walking down the street, he stopped for me. I give, I give him some Why would you do that? Wow, I cannot believe that she is seriously talking. She's such a nice lady, and she's seriously talking to her as if she's going to change her life and get her to not do what she does. <laughs> Done. We'll call okay. you back in here in a little bit. I'm working on her. All right, is it working? Well, I don't know. Does she care that you're telling her? I don't think so. Okay, well, go work I'm on positive. her some more. I'm Let me know positive. later, all right? Okay. Go, go, go sit back where you were. Okay, come here. Give me a break. It probably really is. Listen up for your name out here because they're going to call you a few times, okay? Can I get a drink of water? Sure. Did you end up saving anybody back there, do you think? I worked. I worked so hard on yeah. her. I thought I had a little bit of time. Yeah. I said, no, you don't have to be like your mother. Right. And I said, go to school. You go to school. You go to the counselor. You get your GED. They'll give you money. Right. You don't want to do this. Right. 50 bucks. Yeah. 50 well, bucks. No. Well, you know what, Sharon? Good luck, OK? I'll try. All right. Thank you. See you later. I think out here she might be able to, maybe she'll have a little more time and she can maybe get her point across to some of them. I'm not sure. I don't know. She is a kick. Before I started here, I used to train and breed Arabian show horses back east for our family. We had about 118 horses at one time. Needed a little bit of a change, started to raise a family, and decided to uh, look into law enforcement. And an opportunity arose here in Las Vegas, and been here for 12 years now. What's going on with you today? I found my girl, and she beat the on me, and I ended up getting arrested for it. Yeah? And you have been here before? Mm -hmm. Being drunk and stupid, and that's why uh, I quit drinking three years ago. You did? Yep. I don't drink no more, and I go to school for criminal justice, actually. Are you? Yep. You are awfully smiley. You don't do any drugs or happy pills, do you? No, I'm just no, a very just happy, happy person. It's just different to see Put someone smiling and not crying walking Put in here. Put that on. Okay. Put it on? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, thank you. I get to be a tap-out girl. A tap-out girl? <laughs> you are funny. I'll give you that. Yeah. Leave it to my mom. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah, that is a little tight, huh? Were we out at a party or something? Or? I went to wrestling last night, so. All right, here we go. Second row, all the way down, last seat. Keep yeah. that uh, happy, go lucky spirit, all right? Yeah, no problem. So what happened with this guy, too? We received a call, domestic violence. Uh, we made contact with him. He said he had a verbal argument with his girlfriend. What she said is that they woke up this morning, he wanted to have sex with her, and she refused. So then he uh, got on top of her, which um, they then fell to the floor. He once again then got on top of her. She uh, ended up biting him on the chest. Yeah. OK, thanks. Okay. Yeah. OK, just look up here for me. I, I want that big smile that you came in with. There you go. Excellent. OK, turn to the window. Stand right there. All right, hold that. Hold the smile. Or right there. Perfect. All right, go ahead and have a seat right there. Minimum mandatory 12-hour hold. Battery domestic violence charge, OK? Go ahead and uh, take your glasses off real quick. Go through your hair like you're washing it. Lift your shirt up in the front, all the way up. OK, wow. That's a big bite mark. Is that where she bit you? Wow, she got you good, huh? Lucky I pulled away before uh, she broke the skin. Yeah. 
Well, here we go. You got all that done? You're in good shape. You sound like you know what's going on. Like the attitude, all right? Keep that going. Keep your spirits up. It's only a misdemeanor crime, OK? OK. So come on out, and we'll get you going here. First three rows, OK? Good luck to you, Jose. Thanks. Right Jose got a battery domestic. Obviously, he took a pretty serious bite mark to his chest. Jose seems to do OK. He's got a real good attitude and probably the happiest guy I've seen come in jail in a long time. So that's good. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night. When you come in here, your attitude's gonna dictate my attitude, and that's kind of a rule I've always had working here. You know, if you come in and you're polite with me and you have questions, I have no problem taking some time aside, explain to you the process, answering any questions you have. But when you come at me strong or you're upset or you're angry, it doesn't make me want to help you anymore. Okay, spread your feet, man. Don't Next. talk to me that way. You just asked a question. Better not talk to me that way. I meant to. Okay. Got it? I'm going to do a little searching, okay? Spread your feet for me. Talk to me with respect. Talk to you respect? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get crazy on you. What the oh, bitch? I'm just warning you, I'm gonna touch places, okay? You, no, you're not gonna touch no, nothing. Grab me. You don't touch don't my grab tit. Me. Now let go of my hand. Don't tell me you're let gonna touch go my, my tit and do it. Didn't you just say that? Oh, trust me, I don't like it any more than you do. That's oh part God. of my job detail, man. You're nasty. You said you were gonna do it and you did it. You f grabbed my nipple, bitch. Hold still. Can I touch your wee-wee like you touched my nipple? <laughs> All right, go down to medical. Go sit down. OK, what do you want? First name. Denise, D-E-N-I-S-C. -E what are you looking at, bitch? Did you have any alcohol today? Huh? Alcohol. I drink beer every day since I was four years old, bitch. Why are you on? What about it? Why are you on? What about it? You think my life has changed or something? Changed to what? To what? Oh, no, shut up, pig. Suicidal? I don't get suicidal, bitch. Don't touch me. We got a Sarge. Are you done? Keep your head down, OK? Keep your head right there. OK. That thing is twisted, though. Put your feet hands down. Oh, the hand is Put your butt down. Put your butt down. Oh, thank you. I did not see you. You tried to bite the officer. No, I didn't. You're I lying. I you. I saw okay, you. You're a liar. Yeah. He was teasing me that I was going to bite him. I teased him. You okay. can't tease like that. I don't like. He didn't know to say I'm gonna yeah. bite him. I'm not an animal. But bitch. you can't tease like that. Right. I don't give a. People f don't take it seriously here when you try and do. I take like it that. seriously when you tell me I'm gonna bite people. I'm not a dog. Well, you said that. Excuse me. No, I didn't. You're a liar. No. Stop lying. I'm very angry. With like I would bite somebody. I'm not a dog, bitch. <sighs> what an angry little person she is. I don't know what is with her, but she has some serious Go issues with away. being angry. So turn your mental illness off. Tell me about that female you brought in. She was found in the vacant house. No one's supposed to be in the premise. And I was being nice and give her a written warning. And she decided she didn't want to be quiet. And she kept yelling and causing a scene. So I told her she was going to jump for trespassing the whole ride over here. She was nice and quiet. Oh, she was? Oh, not a word out of her. <clears throat> and then um, outside, she was getting a little snippy with me. Another officer came out and saying hi. And next thing you know, she stands up, walking door, turns around, goes right after him. So I grabbed her. She was definitely a problem. Yep. Okay. Just a trespass. That's all it was. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. She seems to have calmed down. <laughs> Psych services already talked to her, so. We're going to take her out of the chair, move her down to a Z6 side cell. Okay. So. We can do that. Do you want to roll her down there, then? Yeah, we'll roll her down there. Right. Remain calm like this. We'll get you right out of this chair, all right? All right, 
Denise, we're gonna pull you out of the chair, okay? I'm sure that's not very comfortable, right? Well, obviously. I mean, I'm not stupid, right? Well, I'll pull okay. you out of the chair, or you can stay okay, in the chair. Okay. It's very simple. Yeah, we just took her out of the chair. I think she'll be fine. She seems to calm down quite a bit. She'll stay in here for additional cool down period. Stay right there until that door no, shuts. Until we're out of here. I'm done. Every single time. What are you looking at laughing at, bitch? And her mental illness. All right, well, at least no one got hurt. She'll have her nap and we'll feed her in a little while. She'll be released and she'll come back next week. Denise. Hey, ma'am. Denise, sit up for a second. What you did to me tonight, I don't respect you no more. First of all, Denise, you don't know who I am, OK? I was on lunch while you came in here. So I was asked to just come down here, get your side of the story. I don't have a side of the story. There is no story at all. Somebody made a mistake, that's it. It wasn't us. Yeah, it was you. It wasn't me, man. There's nobody else in a black and white car besides you guys. I wasn't in the black and white car. Besides 20 of them. I wasn't in the black car. Reason. What, what, what are you all mad about? 20 f cars on somebody that you got the wrong man, dude. That's probably overkill, isn't it? No. You have the no. wrong people? The people on the streets are the ones that you're angry with? What's an overkill is where you came up on me for no f reason. I wasn't even there, though. Dude. Period. Every one of you were. Denise. Good. Sorry, Denise. Denise. Ma Ma Denise. Ma'am. Man. I'm done with you no more. You're not a bad person. You just made some bad choices. So just remember you that. You did. There's only one So thank side you very much. Story. Well, you're not telling us yours. We've given sure. you the opportunity. I don't have a side. OK. Good night. You don't understand it, do you? She's still riled up about the whole circumstance from the street. It's more of the uniform that she sees and not the person. People have made a lot of efforts to try to uh, just communicate with her to really find out what's going on with her. And I'm sure all that truth will come out here in the next few days as she's in here. really busy in here. So we're going to get a little bit of everything. We're receiving inmates every, seems like every 15, 20 minutes. Some of these people are starting to get a little restless. It's a really, really busy night. It feels like a weekend, just a normal middle of the week night. All right, why are you two here? I'm here because I was playing guitar on the bridge, and then the officers came up, and they said I'd pack it up. So I was packing it up. And they said that because I wasn't, uh, wasn't packing up fast enough, mm -hmm. they started talking crap to me. Like, not like talking crap, like your classic street talking crap, but just like being rude. I said, respect me like a human being. And then the supervisor said, put her in cuffs. So, because I wasn't cooperating. You had a lot of money, so you make a lot of money doing that. Not usually. So. Oh, OK. So what do you do, leave the guitar case open and people drop tips just to get you by until you find a job? or? Mm -mm. That's what you music do. For a living. Oh, I only okay. do original stuff on the bridge too. Okay. So. We've got your guitar back there, all nice and safe. When you go home, we'll give that back to you. And what's your story, Miss? Why are you here? I'm here because uh, they saw me walking, and then they stopped me, and then they asked me if I'd ever been arrested. And of course, I have. So they judged me. And they assumed I was doing something else. When I was just me and my boyfriend to go get some sushi. So like maybe a loitering charge? Yeah, they said it was loitering, but I wasn't doing nothing. So now when they see you, they think you're still. Yeah, they think you're I'm not even allowed on the strip or nothing. How many times have you been here? Is this I your do. first time here? Oh, okay. How long have you been in Vegas? A year. A year? Oh, and it's your first time to the jail. That's good. Yeah, yay. That's good. Do you talk to your family still? When I turned 17, uh, I got kicked out for not wanting to do chores. So I lived on my own since then. So That's kind of harsh, because I think most adolescents rebel you against know, the whole it, cleaning I'm of the room. I'm thankful that it happened, though. Like, if it hadn't happened, I wouldn't have been traveling around for the last two years. I wouldn't have got to see, like, you know, I've lived in, like, six different states now. And you're able to sustain yourself? Mm -hmm. and just my guitar. Roof over your Just head. Me and my guitar. Your stomach. Well, good so. for you. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Well, you guys will move along in the process here shortly, okay? I am mad as hell because I didn't.
do one, you think? Oh, that's an awful look you're giving me. What the hell are those kids? I don't know. I don't know why you're here. I haven't seen your paperwork. But don't scare me. I might have to go home. Come here, Rhonda. You're going to see medical now. To the right, and this nice guy in the green shirt. There you go. What's your birthday? You got to tell him. No, Rhonda, don't do that. You don't want to mess up your hair. Oh, Rhonda, do you want to hurt yourself? You tell me you've done that so well, he, far. He can't read your mind, so we do kind of need you to answer oh, the well, question. Oh, well, they have so far. They've read my mind. Mm -hmm. They said I did this or that, and I didn't. So... But we weren't the ones that arrested you, so we I, just want to take care of you while you're here. Give me a gun. I won't oh. point it forward. I'll point it backwards. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Aha, uh -huh, you missed putting your hand <laughs> I didn't want my hand to get smashed. I moved oh, my hand. Baloney. You know what you're you doing. Said baloney. You, you know what see. you're doing. You got up today and did your makeup, you did your hair. Uh, just yeah. lipstick, that's okay. it. All right, can you stand up? Didn't you used to do movies? I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Keep that shirt down. Oh, you go, girl. You know how they say beauty and the beast? I say beauty is the beast. When you've got it, you're always gay, and when you haven't, the men are anyway. When you've got it, you've got it, right, Rhonda? Yeah. Sit right there. I still I'm know. still oh. crooks and criminals. Yeah, it is jail. Are you kidding? Yeah. Rhonda's one of our um, regulars. I'm sure you remember her from upstairs. She was frequenting a business that she's been trespassed, and when they called the police, they asked her her name. She, she didn't give them. She didn't tell them the truth. She lied. And so she wasn't brought in for trespassing, but she was brought in for the furnishing the false information to a public officer. Rhonda, you're probably going to get an OR for your charge. You're not going to be here very long this time, OK? I'm sure that's good news for you. No, I'm still mad that any of it happened. You don't want to stay here. You want to get out, and then in a month, you'll go to court, tell the judge what happened? No matter how you're judged, if the truth you don't tell, your conscience will put you in your own little cell. So tell me, is it worth it to sit in these chairs for mixing up your lives in such childish affairs? When you know it is wrong, and you do it anyway, you're just giving that judge the right to put you away. All right, Rhonda, you just rest. OK. Rhonda's making a little more sense now. She won't be here very long unless she has any warrants. All these stickers on the guitar, you've been to all those places? Well, Reggie's I've been to, Night Horse, someone gave me a sticker for it. Scotty Donuts from a concert, uh, Power Man 5000. OK. I guess she every single mom was asking that ever might be valuable when I get famous. So. Keeps it safe for you? Yeah, she's got like two pairs of my Converse's right now. Like I figure they probably smell bad and look really gross, but someday someone might want my shoes. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Have you seen the guitar yet? No, I haven't. Wow. So who painted that? Me. So you're Tap Captain Boxing. Charlie? Yes. Original artist Captain Charlie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Please I'm tip for joking. photos. This is my real job. Yeah. I don't want to have a real job ever, like okay. a real job. Okay. What's that tattoo on the back of your neck? It's a captain's suit. Oh, turn around. Let me see. I didn't see that before. So what's the significance there? That's your name, too. Yeah. Uh, well, I wrote a song called Captain, and it's like a big influence on everything that I'm doing as a musician, just going mm -hmm. out and traveling around and whatnot. But also, it's a reminder to always be a leader instead of a follower. All right. <laughs> you can stand up and come over here. You going to write a song about this when you get out? Mm -hmm. You probably should. So we're going to move into the next lobby, where exciting things are going to happen for you. OK. If any, any questions, just check with these officers. You got any questions for me? No? You're good to go? OK, good luck to you. Thanks. All right, <laughs> bye. OK. All right, Alicia was very happy to come in here. So we'll pass out her paperwork, and they'll start calling her name. She'll get processed. We'll give her her guitar back, and she'll, she'll go play some more after she gets some rest, probably. Maybe one day, we'll see her in the movies. come in, you can't judge them by their charges. Sometimes they come in for misdemeanors, and once they get in here, things change. They get agitated. We may now have assault on an officer, assault on another inmate. So we always have to stay on our toes and be prepared for anything that comes up. There's a code five. 
Well, they pull up fast, too, so it might be a good one. Yeah, you don't. I might be able to speak her out of there. Just calm down a little bit. She's kicking, fighting, spitting, peeing, all that good stuff. Just trying to take her shorts off, stuff like that in the back. It's Kayla, how you doing? I'm not Kayla. I'm Victoria. And I'm not drunk. Can we get these chips up we so sure I can lose my winnings? We sure will. You're going to cooperate with my officers, right? Look all at right. me. That's yes or no? I'm the yes. OK, let's go. She got some uh, chips yeah, she's in the bottom. pulling them out of her uh, yeah. bad vagina, I guess. All right. I'm going to put my leg over here. No, we'll pull you from Victoria. her side. Bring your feet out. Can I get my two red chips? And I okay. think I got one stuck on my butt. Look. Wait, it's stuck on my butt. OK, we'll get it over here. Because I'm sticky. Look. Here. You put it on my butt because it's hurting I me. Mean, you're like, I won't grab up. your butt, but hang on. No, I'm going to drop it off. Can I just grab it? You know how you feel something sticking on your butt? <laughs> I felt it on my butt that whole ride. In the car, she said she had some poker chips stuck to her backside. and She got her shorts loose, and it just fell out of her, her shorts. <laughs> Shut up. You are I'm going to write you when I leave. Me to shut up. <laughs> no, that's how I, we talk on the East Coast, bitch. But I ain't even calling you no bitch. I'm just saying that. Hold on. That's the wall. I'm facing the wall, girl. I'm face. I'm going to do whatever you want, Miss Kelly. All right. Go see medical. How tall are you? 4'10", about 105, and I was a blonde yesterday. Go check your hair. Do you have any medical problems diagnosed by that? I'm born. <laughs> that's about it. I've been a lesbian for five years. But that's irrelevant. Any drugs? I'm going to say drugs. Man, I look like a drug addict to you. Listen, I've been waiting for 29 years to come to Vegas and act up, and I got arrested for some bull You know all the things I could have got arrested for? I was picking up my ex-girlfriend, and I got arrested. Are you suicidal? Do I look suicidal to you? No, oh. no, no, no. Okay. Oh, he asked Don't me a question. How does suicidal got to do with you opening okay. your legs? Miss Kelly, I ain't commit no crime. Stand up. <laughs> we were working on a safe trip down on the uh, boulevard, and we were in front of a... Uh, they, one of the local casinos. As we're there, we get hailed down by uh, security. Security says they have two females that are fighting. Um, we walk over and we see two uh, females arguing, uh, trying to fight with security, trying to fight with each other. Um, we're able to detain both of them. Both of them are fighting and kicking us. Apparently, they're um, from Connecticut and they're uh, here on vacation. And they just got a little too had a little bit too much to drink. Um, they had poker chips. They were trying to hide them from each other in their bras and things like that. We spent about 30 minutes before we decided to just take them just straight to jail for fighting with each other in front of the casino. I came out here to have fun. I came out here to be acting my age. Hey, Peter. Time is over now. Bitch, playtime just My grandma's going to bomb me out in less than five minutes. Can we talk minutes. about that word? I'm Let me make a phone like... call home, see how quick my grandma bombed me um, out. Put your thumb up there. He's just being very verbal and causing a disruption. So we're going to go ahead and take her to the side cell. Um, so she can get time to cool down. I've never been arrested for drugs. I'm crazy because I'm from Connecticut. But this is a cool experience. At least I can say I got arrested before I was 30. Put your knee up there. Both of you kneel up on it. Like a stripper. You know what? You're going to make this real nasty quick. We're trying to help you. You're going to get nasty quick, whatever you want. If this comes off, place your hands high on the wall. I'm like Madonna, like a virgin. Like a virgin. Victoria was disruptive out in pre-arrest, so we decided to give her some time to cool down, uh, sober up a little bit, and then we'll come back and check on her and bring her back out to go through the booking process. Check on Victoria, see how she's doing, if she's calmed down. Victoria, you want to come up to the door? I got some clothes for you. You want some clothes? OK, come up to the door and get it. Give me your belly piercing. Can you come in there? Mm -hmm. There's a belly piercing we didn't, we didn't get. It. Victoria, let me see your belly piercing. I'm going to take it off. What? We need to get your belly piercing. Give me your belly piercing. Did you just wake me up to take a jewelry out of my stomach? Is that what you guys do in a minute? Oh, I came here room? to talk to you, see if you could come out of this room. I've been sitting here. What time is it? 
It's around 3 o'clock. Okay, so I've been sitting here asleep for like three hours. No, right? it's about an hour or less. Are you going to give me your belly piercing? Am I going to get out of here tonight? No. Then, then. All right. Dude. Hold her down. Girl. You know, I was trying to be nice to you for a minute. Okay, I'm being nice. Again? Yeah. Nice, sweetie. Hopefully you stay there for a minute. Mm -hmm. So right now, she has a bit of an attitude. Um, try to talk to her, see if she would talk to us about what happened. Once she comes down, we'll continue her process. She'll have her poker chips waiting for her when she gets out. Open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my home.